If your company is anything like the ones that I've been advising, the CFO or the CEO will typically say, you know, you're constantly coming to me asking me for more money for more security devices. Can you tell me that if you give me this additional money, now we'll be secure? Right? You face that question? Right? You are just an endless money pit. Uh, I keep throwing money at you. I see no return on investment. And moreover, you know, these problems you talk about, these problems you're trying to stop, they have never happened. So why should I take money off our bottom line to give it to you? Because, you know, there's nothing new here. There's nothing new in this business. Nothing new ever happens. Yeah, there are some hacks. But the stuff you're talking about, it's never happened. But for years, people have been saying, somebody is going to attack the power grid, uh, and somebody's going to shut off the lights through a cyber attack. We demonstrated that years ago uh, at the Idaho Falls experiment, uh, the Aurora experiment. But it had never happened in the real world. And then the night before Christmas, a year ago, December, it did happen. You all know the story. The, uh, Guys in the control room in Ukraine were looking uh, at the cursor on their screen, and the cursor was moving all over the place, closing off circuits, uh, and they couldn't control it. And power went out. So when people say, hey, that's never happened before, now it has. Now it has. They won't write a check. They won't authorize a purchase order they won't change procedures. Because something in the back of their mind says, I have an excuse for not doing that. And that excuse is, I can always say after the disaster, hey, how could I have ever been expected to know that was coming? It had never happened before. The second reason we find, the most dominant reason we find in all of these case studies, as to why decision makers don't do something. Is the problem's too big. The problem is so big they don't know how to get their hands around it. It's a magnitude problem. And when they ask you, okay, you know, we've got this vast industrial control system, how could you possibly secure it? How could you possibly change the whole industry to secure these things? The magnitude would be too great, the cost would be too great. That's the kind of problem you're running up against. And that's the kind of problem I think you need to address by convincing people that it's not the probability of whether or not something is going to happen. It's whether or not it could. What prevents it from happening? So what we need as a country is to set those goals, is to say industry by industry, at a certain date, everything deployed after that will have to have a security package on it. Begin with healthcare, move to electric power, move to industrial control systems, move to automobiles, and then, then research will occur during the, the three years or five years before that date. And then we will have to spend money to replace all the legacy systems. Legacy systems that I know, instead of being changed every three years the way laptops are, they're changed every 20 years, or every 30 years, or they're never changed. We'll have to do something different. But in the absence of regulation, none of this is going to happen. In the absence of regulation, no one company is going to go out and say, I'm going to secure my systems. No one sector is going to go out and say, I'm going to secure my systems. 